Hello everyone. Have you ever spent hours creating architectural diagrams and someone comes and says that there are new infrastructure changes and can you update those diagrams? Or worse, you inherit a project with no documentation and you need to figure out what's actually deployed. So these are all the problems which we are going to solve today. So today I'm going to show you how to automatically generate professional Azure architectural diagrams from your Terraform, ARM or the BICEP code within seconds. I'll be sticking to Azure, but the same can be implemented for AWS and GCP too. And let's be honest, creating architectural diagram is painful. First, it's time consuming. You spend two to three hours in draw.io or Visio, where you will be dragging boxes, finding the right icons, connecting arrows, wherever you should be building the actual infrastructure. And second, you are always out of date. The moment you finish, your diagram is already outdated. Someone added a storage account, someone changed the VNet. Now your diagram where you spent a lot of hours is good for nothing. And another one is the inconsistent standards. Every team member creates the diagram differently. Different colors, different layouts, different level of details. And good luck maintaining the consistency. And the last one is the manual sync chaos. Now you have infrastructure as a code in Terraform, ARM or the BICEP. You have actual resources deployed in Azure and you have the diagrams in PowerPoint or your Word document or the PDF file or you have Visio files. And the problem is these three sources of truth never match. What if I told you that you could generate the diagrams automatically from your code, update them in seconds when your infrastructure changes and it uses the real Azure icons and the proper conventions. That's exactly what we are going to build today. However, you would have seen many Python libraries or the different tools that can generate the architectural diagrams. But the problem is that they are usually in the image format like PNG or JPG. And honestly, what are we going to do with those? These files are not editable. What we want is something you can edit very easily. For example, something that works inside your VS code itself without going to any external portal or external tool. You should be able to set everything up in VS Code, press one button and the diagram appears. Now what we are going to do is to create the diagrams in an editable format so that draw.io extension can open them straight away. You can drag things around, adjust the icons, make quick changes exactly the way you want. It will generate almost 100% of the work for you. If you're not satisfied and you want to make small changes, you can just ask GitHub Copilot or simply you can just click on the file. It will open in draw.io extension and you can dra drag and drop the things and make the small changes. So now let's talk about the different use cases. For DevOps engineer, imagine you are onboarding a new team member. Instead of explaining the architecture for two hours, you can just run one command and there will be an architectural diagram explaining the whole infrastructure. For cloud architects, you are designing a solution for a client. You write the Terraform code or the ARM template, you run the generator. Now you have professional diagram in front of you. If the customer asks, can you provide a network flow diagram and you don't even have the code, then you can just provide the instructions and that will be done. No extra work is required. And for compliance and audit purpose, security, like if you have a security audit next week, you can generate the architectural diagrams immediately within minutes or I would say within seconds. You can run it through your code and provide the prompt. So whatever you want to create and everything will be ready within seconds. Now let's discuss about the tech stack which we are using in this lab today. So Python diagram library which we are going to use. It's an open source library using which you can generate the different architectural diagrams. It has built in Azure, AWS and GCP icons. Then we'll use the GraphWiz which is a rendering engine which converts the diagrams into the PNGs or the image format or the dot format or SVG format. Then comes the GraphWiz to draw.io. So it's a converter that converts or turns the diagrams into editable draw.io file. So you can auto generate almost 100% of the work and the fine tuning or last some bit of changes you can do using the GitHub Copilot or you can manually do it by clicking on the file which is draw.io compatible and when you use the extension it will open the file you can make the changes you can edit it the way you always do it and this will make things easy for you so by end of the video 
you will know how to install and configure all the tools, generate your first Azure architecture diagram from code, pass Terraform files or the bicep templates to visualize the deployment and export to draw.io for manual refinement. And all the code which I'm going to show in this demo will be in the GitHub. So you can just find that in the description of this video. And one last thing. Now this is what we are doing manually. You can also integrate this into your CI CD pipeline for auto deployment. So think about the scenario. You have made some changes. You have deployed the Terraform code and then there is one part where or one step where you can add this and automatically your confluence or your um, or your documentation or the word document wherever you want to update it will update for you it will create all the diagrams and it can update wherever you want all right enough talking let's build this together i'm in the vs code now and when you will go to the github you will see this folder structure so the main structure is architectural diagrams there are no diagrams right now there are only two files one is agents.md let me open in preview so this is an instructions file for your agent now Either you can use the GitHub Copilot from here if you have signed up for this and if your organization allows. Otherwise, you can use the agents directly from Azure AI Foundry or your Copilot Studio. You can integrate them here and then you can run the same thing. So what we want is uh, instead of you creating the Python file or defining the diagrams, the LLM should do it because the AI is an assistant for us they will do the heavy lifting and you can just generate all those diagrams within seconds so now these are the instructions that these are the different packages that have to be installed and how they have to be installed location and how your diagrams will look like what where it will be saved how you have to convert them and different like which colors you have to use so the basic details However, you can always change them either manually or just ask the copilot that, okay, change the instructions and it will do it for you. So for now, what I'm going to do is, okay, before that there is a requirements file, uh, what has to be installed. So all these that will be taken care and there is another instructions file I have created. So I want to show you quick demos. I have provided different instructions that how my architecture should look like. So this is the case where you are in pre-sales and you have to define an architectural diagram or a high level design document for a customer. You just provide what we are going to create and it will create the diagram for you. So basic details which will connect with and I have provided more information like the layout rules but you don't have to and it will understand. And then other is the bicep demo or the Terraform demo. So these are the two different applications. One is deployed through Terraform. Another one is deployed through bicep. So let's start with our manual instructions. So I'm going to open GitHub Copilot and ask us, go to architectural diagrams folder and read instructions for you in agents.md file. And once that is done, go to instructions dot md file and create architectural diagrams for me just this much you have to write but before that copilot can set it up for you but let's do it manually by ourselves so let's go to architectural diagrams folder we run Python virtual environments because when you're running Python, it's it's always recommended to create the virtual environment so that all your packages and everything will remain in there. Now we have a virtual environment. Let's activate it. It's activated, and then we install requirements.txt, where all the packages will be installed. So it's installing all the packages. However, there is one dependency which is C++ build tools, which you can do by installing the Visual Studio. There is an option and once that is done, it will be all good. Now it's installed and let's ask it to run. So it's reading the files as you can see, agents.md and then it will read the instructions. Now it understands the instructions and it's going to create it. 
let's see it's using azure diagrams virtual environment it's using that's good it's activating it again but that's all right it's just checking the version okay perfect now it will create the python script for you okay as you can see python script is created and here is a script and let's run it hopefully it will not fail okay it has made some mistake but it can fix it by itself so it's checking what are the different libraries because when it's using the different diagrams it has to provide the specific names so route tables uh, it's not route table it's route tables it has fixed it now that's the use of the llm it will take care of the basic things for you perfect so it has created in three formats png dot and draw dot io so png it's by default it creates in png now because we have used um, graph viz to draw dot io so it uses first it converts first it creates in dot format and from there it creates dot dot io but before that let's open the diagram it looks good let me close this close this and zoom it for you see check how beautifully it has designed all the lines everything and all the details are provided subnet details and now you can you can ask it to make the manual changes or just click here simple draw dot io click here and and here is a diagram it's similar to how you open in in the browser and if you have to make changes for example you don't want it to be here just put it here and it's not that just drag and drop works you can make it work in a nicer way for example you click here okay i want it to be outside and perfect you can even add more shapes if you want to add this you add it here like the way you do it properly you can make changes now and it's not that you have to make changes you can ask the copilot that will create another python script update those changes and they will update the diagram itself but if it's a minor change you don't want to recreate everything and it can be done this is through the instructions let's quickly check another option um there is a terraform code it can read the terraform code there is a single file however the bicep is a little big so let's check the bicep one it's just checking whether it's not uh, it's created or not but let's go to bicep demo folder and understand my code in detail and create a diagram for me just this much now the llm will go read all the files understand it and it will create so now it's reading all the bicep files so it's checking because i have uh, from the azure samples quick start template repository this is and it's reading the details from here so it's a three tier architecture is sql demo now it's reading the main dot bicep file which is a big file as you can see so it's reading all those and i think it's almost ready it will generate a python script for you which once run will will create the diagram for you okay as you can see the python script is created where it defined different colors background color how it's connected where first it's defining the different which are used and then the different edges how they will be connected and everything all those details and then it's converting here so let's run it hopefully it will run without any error and perfect it just ran and let's see whether it's good or not looks good actually and yes it has a three tier architecture and this is first the front end then the middle tier and then the back end and if you want to change it you can you can just go here and make the changes you don't want it here here add something add the text whatever you can do or edit the text here you can make all the changes whichever you want like the way you do in the draw.io so now creating diagram is no more a nightmare and you're not paying anything it's completely free it's open source what you have to do is just open the vs code if you have a visual if you have a github copilot 
things are done for you perfect and usually you can sign up for free or uh, or you can use the agents directly from azure ai agent service uh, you can integrate it or using the copilot studio which most of the organizations are now integrating so it's easy for you to create the diagrams same way you can do the documentation also but this video is for diagram i hope you learned something new today and it will be useful for you that's all i wanted to show in this video please like and subscribe and see you in the next video